Yes! <laughs> oh, that's a good feeling. Guys, welcome back to The Witness. Uh, sorry you didn't really get to see the lead up to this puzzle. I, I came back in here not really intending to record. I just wanted to figure out what the hell was going on. I realized this puzzle... Well, I didn't re really realize anything about that puzzle. But what I did realize is that this guy right here... I think I clicked on him in the last video. And I was just like clicking around on random spots trying to figure out where the hell... Uh, or rather figure out whether it was solvable or not. And I convinced myself that it wasn't because I was clicking on random spots like an idiot, not really paying attention. Of course, this one, you had to start right up here. I think in my head, I was thinking that, you know, these other hexagon puzzles, you can start from almost, you know, any intersection on the board. So that would be the same way on this one, right? No, incorrect. <laughs> it actually was solvable. You just had to start here. And basically, you just had to look at it from two different spots. I mean, it's, it's the same concept as all these other ones. One of them was right here when it's, you know, on the move. And the other one was actually over pretty close to it, like right from this angle here. Yeah, you can still sort of see it there. So, you just put them together. That's the pattern. And now here we are. I am hoping we have unlocked this gate over here. I still don't know what this guy does, but it seems to be solved, so I guess we'll just leave it be for now. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Let's see what we have unlocked with our hard work. More puzzles! Ah! This area, like, uh, really ramped up in difficulty really quick. Like, in the beginning, I was like, oh, this isn't hard at all. I could do this shit all day long. And now, I'm like, uh... The, the symmetry of it, like, my, my brain just doesn't work that way. Although... I think I do tend to like the grid puzzles more than the hexagon puzzles. For some reason, they make a little more sense to me. The whole mirroring concept. Um, this place is a little weird. Now that I stop and take a look around. Where do we even start here? Okay, that one is solvable. It's kind of hard to see this one. That's solvable too. This is really weird how it lets me focus in on this panel. Not sure I've seen that before. That's weird. This one, too, looks like a panel you would see in a reflection to provide a solution for one of these things. But... <laughs> you can't actually interact with it. Okay, they're, they're throwing some concepts into this place. And this... Ooh. Laser. We're close, guys. Well, at least we're spatially close. I don't know... <laughs> How long this is going to take. Uh, obviously we've got two solutions here that need to be solved in order to open up this panel. So it's probably just these two boards. Well there's another board here. Okay so that is going to be connected to the reflection somehow. Does it just go off to the left there and then snake its way up and then back over? Am I looking at that right? Nope, not that far. Okay, maybe that far. No, that's not right. It's kind of how it looks from here. Oh, uh, you know, you know what? It starts... It goes the whole way over to the right. But it's blocked by the shit. Is there some way to... Like, move this shit out of the way? <laughs> I don't have a hands in this game. I can't do things like that. 
Wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, you can get back here. Oh, I wonder if you're supposed to solve it from back here. Okay, hold on. Does it mirror what you do? Like, if I just do this, and then real quick come back. Yeah. It works on both sides, and it's the opposite. So we're gonna we're gonna have to take the opposite of the opposite. <laughs> Is that what I'm getting here? Gotta look at this just right. Okay, it starts. If we were doing it this way, it would start by going to the right, all the way up, zigzag all the way down to the left corner. And then just go down and over. Okay, I think I can do this in my head. We, it moves very slowly on this panel. I already fucked up. I, hold on. Okay, the solution I concocted in my head doesn't even work. <laughs> What am I missing here? It goes all the way to the right. Oh, it goes back, uh, it goes up before you snake. Okay, okay. Okay, so like that. Then snake down like so. Back up, back over. Yes! And that did something. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Okay. So I guess now we can activate this. To make this guy move. He doesn't feel like moving. He is a lazy panel. Okay, there it goes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Starts on the left and just makes a little smiley face. That seems too easy for how far we've come in this place. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I took that first one far enough. Hold on. No, oh, that's not it. Yep, just didn't start at the right place. <laughs> okay, that's one down, one to go. We gotta figure out what this guy's all about. Oh, we can actually, we can already kind of see this whole thing. If we just move the right way. Okay, so this one starts up here. Goes over what two? It makes like an S. And then it just goes the whole way over from that corner. That looked all right to me. There's something trickier about this. I don't know what. I guess this is going to activate this thing. I don't know what that's going to be like. This seems like it should be simple. Probably missing something obvious. I don't think there's any other starting points, though, is the thing. So there's not really any other way it can be oriented. Maybe I didn't go far enough? No, I didn't think so.
Yeah, that's all it does. It makes that damn backwards S and then it goes all the way over. What exactly is the issue here? <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> that's clever. They specifically designed it that way to fake you out. It's something clicked with me when I I realized, you know, I noticed before that you can kind of center in on both of these consoles, which kind of indicated to me when I thought about it that they're actually separate puzzles. And then I just kind of noticed that if you look, if you make the light move around while you're looking at the top one, well, you can't see it now because the solution's over it, but there actually was a really, really hard to detect black line that shows up in the, the light. It's like a, I don't know, like a black light <laughs> kind of type of deal. Uh, it's not a black light, but you know what I mean. And this one appears to be the same way. This is going to be that S shape. Right. The only trick to this was realizing that they were faking you out by putting these two right here. <laughs> Set up like that. Okay. Is this the last one? Does this one go... Yeah. Alright, what's the deal with this guy? He starts... Here, makes a shape like that. Pretty difficult to see the rest. God damn it. Okay, I guess you kind of have to use the top and the bottom to form the complete picture here. You don't really look that's similar to me though. Hold on. You can't see the completeness of either of the picture. Okay, that's the bottom right there, right? It looks like it kind of follows the same previous line. So once you get to the middle, it just goes straight down, goes over two blocks, and then comes back and follows the same trace as the previous one? Okay, let's see if anything I just said makes sense. <laughs> If I'm reading this right, we would just come straight down, go over two blocks, and then up like that. Nope. Not reading it right at all. It doesn't even look like it has the same starting point as the one I can actually trace now that I look at it. Mmm, that makes things much, much easier. Still a little guesswork involved, but maybe this? Okay. Going, oh. Like that? That doesn't include this line that I can see in this portion, though. Ah, oh, jeez. This one is... pretty messed up. All right, finally. <laughs> part of my issue on that one is that uh, I wasn't going up the full way in this top part. It was really difficult to make that out, whether it included that square or not. And also, it was kind of obscure to see how many blocks you were circling down at this part. But whatever, a little bit of trial and error, a little bit of luck, 
We got it figured out. Okay, we are right underneath the laser gun. Ah, elevator's going up. Is this going to activate it? Ah, you're damn right. Desert Ruin. Trophy acquired. Ha 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 ha. What is this? Laser number eight, I think? I always forget how slow these things are. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? What is this shit? That doesn't look like it's... That's not going to the mountain at all. Where the fuck is this one going? Oh, that's... That's that reflection panel in the village. That's what that thing's for. They just throw an extra little wrinkle into this one just to... Just to jerk you around a little bit. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay. We will go over and do that. But you know what? Before I do that, while I'm over in this area, I'm going to pop back over here. Because apparently I unlocked the other gate to this puzzle and didn't even realize it. Yeah, so actually we should be able to get another one right here. Um, wait a second here. Alright, so this is a shadow puzzle. We're completely switching gears here. This looks like... Okay, so I think the right half blocks out the correct path. The left half fills it in with shadow. So I think we just need to switch the way we're doing it, depending on which side we're on. Got it. Ah, the leaf fell! <laughs> Shady trees! I don't know why I like that effect so much. I just found that to be really cool. How the leaves started falling as soon as I activated this. Guys, it's like Laser City in this video. Check me out. I really like the design of these things, too. They remind me of, like, giant industrial question blocks from, like, Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Makes me want, like, a really weird industrial Mario game for some reason. All right, is this one gonna go where I want it? Or we're gonna be some gonna have some shenanigans here. I can't see. Okay, that one looks good. So I've I've totally lost count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can only see seven from here. No, wait, I can see eight. But I can't tell if that one at the bottom is the one from the greenhouse or if I can't see that one at all. And then we've also got to go figure out exactly how to redirect this one. I'm going to have to go back up there and count, basically. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do... We're actually pretty close to getting most of these. I think I'm going to get 10 of them, go do the ending at the mountain, and then go back for the last one and go for like the, uh, the complete ending or whatever. How does this shit work? Okay, so we just gotta orient this the right way to reflect it, right? I 
I still don't understand why it acts like it wants you to put it on this spoke, but that doesn't really appear to be the solution. Alright, we probably want... This one, I'm guessing. Too far. Way too far. Or not? No? The panel's kind of pointed that way now. It's not going to be able to do a perfect reflection off that. We're gonna. We're probably gonna have to shoot this thing somewhere else. Maybe that's why this one's lit up. If we put it back on here. Oh wait, it could totally hit it. My aim was just really, really bad. There it is. All right, good. So that was actually... <laughs> That's just a weird little wrinkle they tossed in there. It's funny. Also, there was a recorder somewhere in this area that I missed. There it is. Let's listen to this while I run up to the mountain. The concept of a clock enfolds all succession in time. In the concept, the sixth hour is not earlier than the seventh or eighth. Although the clock never strikes the hour, save when the concept biddeth. Nicholas of Cusa, 1450. Well, that was the shortest recorder in the history of recorders. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you at the top of the mountain. Alright guys, we're back. So, my count was correct. It appears we have 9 out of 11 lasers right now. Which means that I actually want to complete one more before we do this uh, end game section. The trick is going to be figuring out exactly where to activate this. Uh, I, let's see, there might be one in the area over by the, uh, like this spot over here where we were doing like the symmetry puzzles. Because there was more stuff along the coast. That I never quite figured out. I think that's probably where I'll head next. And I think there's probably another one in the village. Which I may be ready to tackle now. Now that I've done pretty much every other area that I am aware of. I don't know guys. It's weird. Uh, I feel like I'm like pretty close to the end of this game. But I still feel totally unprepared. Like I feel like a little bitch. <laughs> this game has just made me its bitch. All game long. It's kind of awesome. But we can see that this thing is like completely unlocked now. Um, I, I really want to hit it right now just to see what happens, but I don't want to get like locked into an endgame sequence. I don't think that'll happen. Fuck it. I like to live dangerously. Let's see what happens. Whoa. So, okay, this is a puzzle. Okay, two white dots, two black dots, figure out where to stand, separate the colors. Uh, is this going to let me get away with this? No, not quite. Well, this is a pain in the ass. <laughs> already, already a pain in the ass. We have multiple start points, too. And multiple end points. Dude, I wonder if... I wonder if each one of these end points has a different thing. There might be many ways to solve this. That's going to take some finagling. 
Okay, well at least I know what's waiting for me up here when I finally get around to it. Yeah, okay, next part guys, we're gonna cross the landmass, go all the way back to that coastline. Let's see if we can't solve those uh, transparent glass puzzles. Um, I pretty much know the trick to those now. It's just gonna be a matter of uh, figuring out each individual panel, getting the image and seeing what it wants from us. So, we're getting there guys. <laughs> I'm excited. This has been a great let's play, a great game. Damn, that is real pretty. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm also terrified because I know, I know this endgame is going to kick my ass. So, make sure you come back and watch. I'm sure it'll be a great time for everybody. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I will catch you guys in the next part. See ya.